Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to this tutorial on the Creative Cloud for Teams. Um, the first question that I had when signing up for Teams was is this $69 a month on top of my individual plan of $50 a month? And the answer is no. It's completely separate. So if you're interested in working in team projects uh, you would simply cancel uh, your current subscription and sign up for Teams. There you have it. Today we are going to focus on Teams and Adobe Premiere. Um, you know, clearly it works on a lot of different applications, um, Photoshop and every other thing in the in the creative suite. But I do not work in all those. So uh, today we're just going to talk about Premiere uh, and how to update changes and um, kind of share your projects with your team members. So let's go ahead and get going. For sake of this tutorial, I will show you. I will open. Um, just a regular project at first, and then create that um, into convert that into. I'm sorry, I got distracted a little bit. My bunny. I have a bunny. He's kind of behind me, and I I just got to keep watch on him so he's not chewing on things. All right, so let's go ahead and make a new project. Now, if you are going to open a team project, you can just click open team project, and there's uh, there's all the projects. But what we're going to do is we're going to open a new project. I want to say forever. Ah, forever together is the name of this. It's a love story that we're making today. And uh, we're going to bring in first, you know, picture. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to bring in stuff or make sequences. or This is some, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that everybody here knows how to edit in Adobe Premiere. So let's just, um, you know. Ah, that's, man, that's a great edit. I really, this edit here, we've slaved over for a long time. And um, you know, I think it's ready to start sharing with team members so that they can make some changes. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and save my project first, and then I'll say um, edit team project convert to team project. All right, so here we are, my new team project. Ah, it's looking great. Let's say let's rename it forever together. Whatever. Ah, that F in there. You know what? I'm leaving it. Now here you can you can decide right away to add collaborators. Um, so right off the bat, you can you can put their email addresses in. Again, if they are not signed up here for this app, they will not be able to be collaborators. So they must have um, a license to collaborate. Okay, so I'm just gonna close that. I'll say okay, that looks great. And here we are in our brand new, and you can see it's a team project because it says it up here, in our brand new team project. Okay, so first things first. If I'm working in a team project, how do I share my changes with the team? Well, I'm glad you asked. Simple. I'm going to move this over here. Shoot, I might even duplicate the sequence, you know, uh, me, you know, and then uh, I think I'm ready to share these changes. So I go edit, team project, share my changes. And that's, that's pretty much it. Right down there, it shows you everything you've done. You say, yeah, you can make some comments. I, I don't, but... And then share that and when you share this project if somebody else is working in Adobe they will get a notification up here that says a new member has shared changes and you can then choose to update those changes now if they are working on a sequence that you're working on together that you, you're kind of like well is it going to ruin my sequence what's going to happen well what happens is is when those changes come through you can choose to duplicate your current sequence and accept the changes or accept the changes in the current sequence as it is so it won't just automatically update your your window as you're working on it. It doesn't, it doesn't do that. What you have to do is you have to say edit team project and get latest changes. Uh, clearly nobody's actually made changes so I can't get them but that is what you do. You would then get latest changes and and essentially it would add everything that I just did in your timeline and that's it. Now when you go to share your project um, with others so here's in your in your file team project settings um, you can still add collaborators from here uh, add them take them away you can change your ingest settings so if people bring in media they can then download it um, I usually share media from a different platform so I, I usually don't worry about ingest um, but one thing too is that when you share a project with somebody for the first time that has all the media files um, they're gonna have to remap where all those files are on their hard drive that will not affect 
you. It does not um, unleak your files or, or make everything offline. Everything stays the same. So don't worry when you're relinking and making changes. It should all stay fine as long as you're not changing the names of the raw files. So um, yeah, that's that's the basic rundown of of teams if you made some changes and you don't want to share them you can say it's kind it kind of always saves your project but you can say quit and do not share and that way if you're like well I don't really want my boss to see this crappy edit that I was working on today it's not really ready you can just say do not share and and it will not share but it will save when you bring it back in um, I would test it I've tested it a few times everything seems to, to save fine um, and then when it's all said and done and you're done with your project and you do not want to see your project in your team projects anymore, you're ready to archive it, get rid of it, you can archive it in your team projects, but you can say edit team project and convert team project to project. And um, there you have it. You can just save everything then to your desktop and not worry about your team projects and it'll be gone. Uh, you can also browse version, browse auto saves. There's a lot you can do here. It's, it's real nice works real well um, but yeah okay guys uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions please feel free to comment below and I'll see if I can answer them um, if you want to see more let me know